this is going to be my review of the Win Adjustable Workbench. It's model number WB2322T. Today I'm going to review the Win Adjustable Portable Workbench. I'm going to show the functions and the use of the table itself after it's been assembled. Then I will do a brief unboxing and show you my adventure in putting it together. All I ask is after you've watched the video, if you found it helpful, please do the thumbs up, the like button at the bottom of the screen. That helps me out in that it helps promote the video, which makes it a little bit more successful. There were two things that attracted me to this particular uh, workbench. One is height control. I wanted to be able to raise and lower this to this area, especially the things that I work on. That's accomplished by this foot uh, lever on the bottom. So you can swing this out with your foot and lower it. Again, you take your foot, you slide that forward, and then you can raise it to whatever level. When you get it close, then you'll have to find where you want to lock it in. There's a total of seven different height increments at two inch intervals. So that was, uh, that was number one, probably. Number two was price. It was reasonably priced. I picked it up on sale. That was the other deciding factor was price and this particular feature. So let me show you some of the other things. As far as the operation of the vice portion, it can go from closed to seven and three quarters inches. There is a little bit of a trick to that. On this front panel, there are two levers you can push in and then this slides. So what you do is you get this relatively close to where you want to hold the item that you're working on and then you use these handles to take it in and tighten it up. So that works pretty well. This does have limited movement, um, probably three inches maybe. Oh, I'm gonna move this back some. Uh, maybe more like two inches of movement so that that feature is important that you slide this closer to fit where you want it to be and lock it in. The other interesting feature is it also can tilt. So there are two handles on the outside edges. You need to loosen these outside handles. And don't take them all the way off. Don't force them. They, they kind of stop at a certain point. So you don't want to go beyond that point. Then you push in and you can tilt. It can tilt up to 80 degrees. So again, push in, tilt, push in, tilt. That's the maximum and that is almost vertical, not quite. So that's your 80 degrees. Then to get it back to the normal position, you'll push in, there we go, push in and use my forearms to lift. I'm not sure how much I'll use that particular function, but it is nice to have. The orange supports can be moved by lifting. It's kind of a spring action lift. You can turn to different angles. This would be pretty much flush with the bar. This gives you a, a flat edge with a little rough surface to it. Then these pieces, they just slide so you can put those in position and not use these. These can be removed by sliding all the way to the end and popping them out. It catches a little bit at the end. I think that's so if these slide over, they won't fall out, but you can push them all the way out if you want to. There's a ruler at the top that is in inches and then uh, meters at the bottom. And then there's also a, uh, a degree chart for angles. As far as folding it up for storage, I think the best thing to do is to uh, put this at an angle. Then this leg simply folds in, as does the other leg, and that leaves a fairly small footprint when you go to store it. If you're into numbers, the load capacity is 220 pounds. It is not designed to be sat on or stood on. It can range from 29.5 inches to 41.5 inches in height. I mentioned before the height level have seven different increments at two inch intervals. 
The table itself is 26.6 inches across. It can range from 11 and 3 quarter inches up to 19 inches uh, front to back. The width between the tables, as far as opening, you have a half inch spacer there, so it goes from a half inch up to 7 and 3 quarters of an inch. As far as beveling the table, you can be flat at 0%, then there are uh, three other increments, 25%. 50% and 80% intervals. The unit itself weighs 27 and a half pounds. It, it does feel pretty stable to me and I can pick it up, but it's got some, some weight to it. The frame itself is made out of steel and then the, the tabletop itself is aluminum. I'll do a, a brief unboxing and then I'll just do a review whether it was easy to put together or not. Here's how it was setting in the box. got some weight to it. I'll just set these things to the side. I'm about to start to put it together. It comes down uh, to about nine pieces. You got your main table, your two supports that the table is secured to that raise up and down. Obviously the support legs and then these are just support pieces. Um, there are just three sizes of uh, bolts and you can easily identify them because the longer one has two washers on it and the one's a little shorter only has one washer and then there's just four little tiny ones. The instruction book is pretty simple it's all just pictorial there's no word and that's good for me. So let me get started. First step was putting this cross member on no problems everything matched up it was simple Next step, there are three of these braces, two on the back. Comes with a tool, number 10 and 13 metric wrenches. I have my own. I'll use these instead. I have all these supports in place. They're just finger tight, so you know it's a little wobbly, but you don't want to tighten things up until you're done. I will mention one thing that I appreciate by the uh, manufacturer by them putting all the nuts and the washers on the the bolt that you're using it just made it a lot easier i know that's something small and simple but i i appreciated it next step is this support that goes on these and again the the nuts are already put on there so all you have to do is do a little bit of disassembly I will know more once I get all assembled as to how this piece functions. It has a lock nut on the bottom and then another nut on the top. There wasn't anything in the instructions on how to tighten it so I just took it to where the threads were starting to stick out of the lock nut and then I lowered this one to the bottom. It's a release I think so you can lift the, uh, the table up or lower it with your foot. Let me continue on. One minor thing on this particular uh, support being put in, the drawing on the instructions, you couldn't tell that this was a bolt going through here. It's obvious that it was, but the, the drawing just wasn't real clear, but that's a minor thing. This is the first step where I could use a helper because this has to go into this, but this locking mechanism is in the way. So I'm going to have to hold that with one hand, pull this release towards me. That opens up the channel. And there we go. Part of the problem with that was that these uh, bolts are not tight. So I, uh, it would go in crooked. So as soon as I get everything in there, tighten those up, it'll all be straight. And that won't be a problem. Another minor thing in the instructions, these two pieces, there's a little plastic cap, there's two of them, and it wasn't really clear how it goes on, but if you put the smaller end on this little part here that protrudes out, it kind of fits right on there. And then this screws in. Not sure what these, the function of these is as of yet. That's it on assembling 
the workbench. I didn't show putting these things into place. These are the uh, protectors and, and things that uh, you can use to hold things in place. They were easy to insert, so that's not an issue at all. That's my review of the Win Portable Workbench. Uh, initially, I'm happy with it. We'll see as time goes on. If I have any major issues, I'll do a follow-up video. I tend to try and do that from time to time with the things that I uh, have purchased and then made a video on. This is Boiler Dan 1 and I should mention I do have a motto. It's I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. And as always, thanks for watching.